Forget everything you've told about programming. To kickstart your journey as a programmer, focus on mastering three essential skills that form the foundation of every programming language. First up is problem solving. It might sound a bit vague, but here's the reality. Coding is fundamentally about solving problems with a computer. Whether you're creating the next revolutionary app or just building a simple calculator, it all starts with breaking down tasks into manageable steps. For instance, if you want to create a note-taking app, don't rush into coding. Instead, take a moment to outline the many problems you need to tackle. You'll need to design the user interface, set up a database to save notes, and implement functionality for adding and deleting notes. Each of these steps is a mini-challenge that needs a solution. The quicker you get comfortable breaking tasks down like this, the easier coding will become. Next, let's talk about syntax. You might think, ah, syntax isn't that crucial, but it really is. It's the grammar of programming languages. Every language has its own set of rules, but they all share common principles. Think of it like learning to say hello world, in different languages. In Python, you'd write print, hello world, while in Java, it would be system.out.println, hello world. And here in JavaScript it's console.log, hello world, they look different, but the concept is the same. Once you grasp the basic syntax, like arrays, loops, and functions, you'll find it much easier to learn new languages. Don't stress about memorizing every detail, just focus on the fundamentals. When you encounter more complex syntax later, you can always look it up. The real skill lies in knowing how to find what you need when you need it, and tools like Google and ChatGPT will be your best allies. Finally, we can't overlook debugging. This skill is often underrated, but trust me, it's vital. When your code doesn't work, and it inevitably will, you need to know how to fix it. Think of debugging as a conversation between you and your computer. Imagine you're writing a program to check if a number is a palindrome, but it mistakenly says that 12,321 isn't. What's going on? That's a logical error. Your code might run perfectly, but it's not delivering the right output due to a mistake in your logic. So, you need to step back and check your reasoning. Debugging often involves correcting these logical errors and ensuring your code behaves as intended. And when you encounter an error message, take a deep breath. Read it carefully, understand what it's saying, and leverage resources like Google or Stack Overflow to help you troubleshoot. So, to wrap things up, focus on mastering problem-solving, syntax, and debugging. Forget about the latest frameworks and tools for now. If you nail these foundational skills, you'll be light years ahead of many beginners. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information valuable. Don't forget to subscribe for more programming tips, and I'll see you in the next video.